Going ghost mode might be the best decision you'll ever make to help you reset and remove any unwanted negative habits in your life. These of course can range from addictions, procrastinations, plateaus, dopamine and overall mental clutter, none of which help you in any way to progress you forward towards your short and long term goals. This is the fourth time I've entered a 90 plus day period of ghost mode and some of the lessons that it's taught me. First of all, what is ghost mode? It is essentially the removal of any distractions, any cheap dopamine, any addictions, anything that interrupts your time, anything that doesn't progress you forward towards your goals. Some examples can be TV, gaming, social media, unwanted notifications and meetings, and even limiting your social interactions. Instead, replacing it with more healthy habits like introducing training and working out if you don't already, and making smarter choices when it comes to your nutrition. Here are the list of things that I do and incorporate during my periods of ghost mode, some of which of course you can also take and implement. First of all, I remove any and all unwanted contacts on my phone. Currently I only have 40 contacts on my phone and that is split between family and very important contacts. Even during the periods that I work and schedule out and block out to enter flow state, those contacts can't even call me. My phone is off, face down and at least 10 meters away from me. Then of course I don't touch social media, I don't touch gaming, I don't touch TVs, I stay far and clear away from any addictions, that includes alcohol smoking which I don't do anyway. I remove anything and everything that is sexualized, especially in this day and age on social media, on TV, within one minute you'll find and stumble across something that is sexualized. I also limit my social interactions to my very close-knit group of people. I only attend weddings, funerals or birthdays of the close-knit group of people that I mentioned or celebrate really important events from that group as well. I also maintain my training and workout schedule first thing in the morning between 5 and 6.30 a.m. five times a week for an hour and a half. That includes warm-ups, cool-downs as well as stretching. I'm also significantly more strict when it comes to my nutrition. I remove any cheap dopamine, any takeaway, any junk food, only drink water, and when it comes to work, I block and schedule out exactly what I'm doing and only focus on one task at a time. So right now, I've blocked out that I'm gonna record a new video. After this, I've scheduled that I'm gonna edit and as well edit the thumbnail. Before this, I was working on client work. Before that, I was training. So you can see, every single hour of the day, I've blocked and scheduled out exactly what it is that I'm doing. During these periods of work, of course when I'm not recording, I have a humidifier that I use 24 seven even when I'm sleeping. I even remove every single notification on any device. You can see what we're trying to do here is remove absolutely everything that interrupts your work, your flow state, and everything that doesn't progress you forward towards your goals. But why? Are there any benefits? What are the potential benefits? Let's talk about it. One, entering ghost mode allows you to increase your productivity, enhance your focus, and entirely remove procrastination because now you've created a distraction-free environment. You know exactly what you are doing every single minute of the day, from the second you wake up to the moment you fall asleep. You allow yourself and promote deeper periods of work, which enhances your focus on each individual task, which in turn leads to more significant progress in shorter periods of time. Then number two, which I find to be the most beneficial for me personally, is the self-reflection and personal growth that you go through. Ladies and gentlemen, it isn't until you enter long, sustained periods of isolation where you can truly identify your strengths, your weaknesses, your values, your priorities, and really knuckle down on what really matters and what really doesn't matter. You'll shock yourself to find that the majority of things 
really do not matter. There are so many negative habits, so many things that you identify in this period of isolation that actually hinder your progress and don't move the needle forward in any way. It's this period of isolation where you can finally address these things. Finally, get yourself out of this plateau that you've been in for so long. And at the same time, you have the mental clarity that comes along with entering ghost mode. Being able to just step away from all the external, social opinions of everyone, whether that be through face-to-face -face interactions or social media that just negatively impact everything you do and just slog you down and hold you back where you start to compare. Ah, that's such a breath of fresh air. Removing that stress and anxiety that comes along with comparing, that comes along with other people's opinions on you and what you're doing and just being able to just focus on what you want to do to move the needle forward. What that's personally allowed me to do is actually improve all of my social interactions, improve my mental clarity, improve my cognitive abilities, improve my speech, my communication, and everything that revolves around a face-to-face -face human interaction as it used to be. Something, of course, that also improves is your discipline. I've personally never struggled with that, but so too does your time management skills, which is absolutely massive. Just being able to block out your day, being able to structure and schedule your day, being in such a strict routine for your own goals. Being able to just get a goal, split it across different tasks and complete it faster, more effectively is one example. This then turns into positive habits that you've now created for yourself that you can then take and implement into both your personal life and your work life once the ghost mode period is finished. Some other ones I'll quickly mention, increasing creativity and innovation, and actually enhancing your relationships with your friends, your family, your significant other, your wife, your husband, or whatever the case may be. Trust me, you may think it's the opposite. You may think because you're in this social isolation and you've set all these rules and boundaries that it's the opposite. But the close-knit, tight group of people that you know, those people that remain on your contact list, you are going to grow a greater sense of appreciation for those important people in your life. You're going to have a new, fresh perspective of what meaningful and loving connections actually mean. Trust me, <laughs> you're going to be shocked about how many people actually don't give a crap. The, the people that you think are going to call you and care, woo! Prepare to be shocked, which is why in the beginning, I suggest just remove all of those contacts that you already know should not be on your phone. From there, you already know, you have already reflected during those 90 days or however long you decide to do it for, who is meaningful, who is loving, who is important in your life, filter out the people and things and other crap that isn't, other addictions, other procrastinations, other habits, you are able to filter all of that crap out now and really just focus on what truly matters. You can now set up the boundaries that you want. You are now in control of your own life. Now, like I said, it might take multiple periods of ghost modes to learn more insightful things like me. I still learn new things about me, about the world, about friends, about family, etc, etc, etc. But the long story short, that entire list of benefits that I have personally experienced that has personally taught me. Honestly, I recommend it for everyone who is either in a period of overstimulation, over addiction, over procrastination, has found themselves stuck in life, wants to just filter out the rubbish, wants to just get away and disappear for a while and focus on nothing but work, nothing but progress and progression towards their goals. A minimum of 90 days in ghost mode is what I recommend. If you learn something, drop me a like, Subscribe to the channel. If you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.